Hi guys, today we're going to be talking psychometry. How psychometry was defined by Jose Silva, how he studied it, what it means according to his discoveries and briefly how you can use the natural abilities of psychometry that, you, that we all have. So psychometry is being able to read information from an object, any object. Basically all objects have vibrations. Every object has its own vibration. The light that allows us to see this object has its own vibration. The combination of the object and the light creates two more vibrations. The sum of the light and the object and the difference of the light and the object, which, which is the reflection. The reflection is what we see with our physical eyes, but the reflection is also reflecting other things, not only the light and the object, but other objects, other thoughts. So it's impure, according to Jose Silva. The only pure information we can extract from an object is the sum of the object and the light, but it is subjective. So this means we can only extract information in our subjective field, which is in alpha level. Every object is inundated with the energy of its owner. If you, of course, are closely linked to an object. For example, if I use this notebook very often, then somebody else can read information about me while holding this notebook in alpha level. Um, so it's important that all of the objects that you want to keep private, you keep them private, you don't give them around because everybody can find out things about you and moreover they can program objects. You can also program objects. Next time I'll tell you about programming objects for success or for um, a certain thing that you want to achieve. Instead of the three scene technique, you can use the three scene technique in alpha to program an object. So psychometry has huge implications. Bear in mind that your, uh, that your energy field spreads about eight meters around you on average. That's a lot. And especially in smaller locations like villages and when you're not surrounded by a lot of people. But when you're in bigger cities, your energy tends to become small. You need to make space for other people. So your aura, your sphere of influence naturally becomes smaller so it's not spreading eight meters as it naturally should thanks for watching consider joining my monthly mastermind call on healandlearn.com forward slash courses